which is Mark Stillman, providing a video on passing to Mitchell DeRay's two methods. All right. <clears throat> here's here's how you define a method that accepts a two-dimensional two array. When, two -dimensional, when a two-dimensional array is passed to a method, the parameter must be declared as a reference to a two-dimensional array. The following method header shows an example. You have your, your standard stuff for a method, private or public, static, void, static, void, show array is our method, and then we have int, two brackets, and then the name of our array. Well, rather the the, uh, the name of the placeholder array that you're going to be using in the method. Here's an example of the code. Here's a here's an example of the code we're going to be using in the um, assignment. But I'm actually going to make it myself soon. Just an example of how it looks and what it does. It's supposed to display the contents of a two-dimensional array. The method will display each row on a separate line. Here's the beginning of our code. Put the static void main string args int two brackets numbers equals. And here's how you define the a two-dimensional array in a um, specific fashion. You have each row to, uh, marked off of itself by curly brackets, and each column in the row just put in normally. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four for the first column row, row, five, six, seven, eight for the second row, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the third row, and then we call it below. And here's array sum that simply adds all the methods together. All right, now time for our demo. First off, here's our code as we had before. We have the um, our array and the numbers we're, we're going to put into it. <clears throat> and here we have show array. We call it here and we pass numbers to it. But right now we don't have show away array. So I'm going to go ahead and start building it now. All right, we start with our with our method header, private static void show array int curly brackets array. And this is the and this is the place array array here is going to be the place of array we're going to use to save all this in. Got our original curly brackets going. Then we start putting in our first for loop. For int row equals zero. Row less than array. That length. So the size of this. Row plus plus. Close this off its curly brackets. Continue the code. Now we have a nested for loop for the columns. This, this is just completely corresponding to rows. For int, for int, call equals zero. And call is less than array dot row. No wait, array So yeah, columns less than the number of columns in that row dot length call plus plus. Then we close off its curly brackets to avoid getting fused because we have a lot of curly brackets around here. Now we actually get the important part of the code. System dot out print array row call plus this. I mean, this is the thing to keep it separated.
Actually, we can do this without curly brackets, so let's do that. Because so long as it's just one line in a for or any loop of any kind, one line underwritten in Java is just fine. And then just separate it from this system dot out print line. Just to separate the lines. Alright, let's see what happens now. Now we're compiling. Alright, operation complete. And now we run. Yep, now it displays all the values in their array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In their specified rows, just like we planned. So, anything in the same row is a number in that row, as far as columns go. And of course, array sum has the sum of the values equal 78. And here you see array sum. We have a similar kind of definition, private static ant array sum ant array. And then we have our total for our accumulator. And then we have two nested, uh, we have a for loop with a nested for loop. It's like we always do when dealing with um, double with um, two dimensional arrays. One corresponding to row and the inner one co corresponding to column. And then we're adding all the rows and columns together. I mean, we're adding all the net numbers in every row, uh, row and column. Or it's better to say every column and row. Or every column in a row. And then adding them all together, giving us our grand total. So yeah, once we have uh, once we do that, oh yeah, this is the um, enhance add to total instead of having total plus array instead instead of having total equals total plus array row column we have total plus equal array row column and it gives us the same thing in Java. So yeah, so yeah, we run again and we get a similar outcome. And we can also change the numbers in the array and get the same and uh, get similar results. So yeah, we, it, this became a 15. Compile. No, no, we use the number show up here. We get 81. Now let's see what happens when we actually add a new number. Yep, it, it, it works. It um, works. It works with it accordingly, and then adds a new number, which gives us 93 as a total. So yeah, that's what we have here. That was a video on the passing 2D arrays to methods. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.